Disneyland is home to some pretty iconic mice, but there are also some pretty infamous rodents as well. Luckily, there are some furry security officers that take care of these pests. Hello Lost Boys and Lost Girls, welcome to a close study on the history of one of Disneyland's most prominent secrets. A secret that is hidden somewhat in plain sight. Of course, I'm referring to the feral cats that are permanent residents of the parks. You may think you know their history, but like all other videos posted here on Second Star, I want to make sure that all of you lost folks are as accurate as can be with your knowledge of all things Disney. Without further ado, here we go. It's impossible to pinpoint exactly when first cats started to appear on Disneyland property, but there have been sightings going as far back as 1955. Soon after Disneyland opened, Walt Disney decided that there should be an attraction inside of the park's most prominent site, Sleeping Beauty Castle. When he brought Imagineers into the castle to begin the planning process for what would eventually become the Castle Walkthrough attraction, he came across quite a peculiar sight. Scores of feral cats had set up a home for themselves inside the castle. Not only that, the cats had brought with them an infestation of fleas. It became clear that something needed to be done about the cats, but the Disney company knew that they wouldn't exactly eliminate the problem without considerable uproar from park guests. The immediate solution was to adopt out all the cats to cast members, ensuring them good homes. This also helped free up some real estate for further detailing the wonders of the park. Disney cast members dealt with the flea problem as quickly as possible too. Just as most humans had no idea what to expect when Disneyland opened its gates in 1955, the cats also took a little while to adjust. Some lessons were learned more quickly than others, for instance, either to stay away from the hippo area of the Jungle Cruise entirely, or to plan on wearing earplugs. Other things took a little longer to sink in. There is a well-known story of a curious kitten who kept breaking into the popcorn stands overnight to lick the leftover popcorn butter from the glass. He would always tire himself out and end up falling asleep in the popcorn reservoir. The poor fellow would then be rudely awakened the next morning by a yelling cast member. This series of events must have happened at least 15 times before he gave up his quest for butter entirely. Meanwhile, being an outdoor theme park with lands meant to simulate rustic situations, Disneyland had developed a bit of a rodent problem. While the irony was lost on no one in the company, Disneyland had mice running around. And I'm not talking about Mickey and Minnie. There were also still plenty of feral cats on property who hadn't set up shop in the castle. The cats were smart and realized they'd found a decent hunting ground on a property that was free of all typical dangers stray cats have to face. They were able to emerge at night to a relatively empty park and they could hunt in peace. It was around this time that someone in the Disney company must have had the pretty brilliant idea. The cats weren't bothering anyone. Feral cats by nature are scared of humans. And they were doing a much better job with pest control than any human exterminators were likely to do. So the cats were allowed to continue doing the work they were already doing, but now it was with blessing from Disney and some payment. A relationship between the company and the Disneyland cats were established that still operates in basically the same fashion today. Feeding stations were set up around the property where the cats could get their fill when they couldn't subsist on hunting alone. The cats were all captured and spayed or neutered before being released back out onto the ground so that the cat population would remain under control. The cast members at Circle D Ranch the same cast members who looked at the Main Street trolley horses and the goats when Big Thunder Mount Ranch was still functioning helped manage the cats. They give them medical treatment if necessary, keep the food refilled, and generally look after Disney's herds. The cats actually live a pretty mundane life, similar to most feral cats you might have in your neighborhood. Of course, they do so in the happiest place on earth. They generally stay hidden out of sight during the day and only come out at night. There are exceptions, of course, and guests who have been known to spot cats sleeping in the parks or otherwise slinking around property. Now, although these feral cats are quite a sight, please do not bother them. As a general rule, Disney doesn't encourage guests to get too close to the cats. In addition to the simple fact that it's never smart to pet a cat you don't know, these cats are often better off remaining in solitary. If 
if cats start to appear too comfortable around humans, Disney will adopt them out to cast members. The same is true of any new litters of kins are accidentally born on the property. It is estimated that the current cat population on Disneyland property is about 200. Some of the feeding station locations that are guests more likely to spot a cat include ones near the Hungry Bear restaurant in Disneyland, Taste Pilot's Grill at Disney California Adventure, and Whitewater Snacks at the Grand Californian. Cats can also often be spotted in the Rose Court Garden at the Disneyland Hotel and in the ditch that runs parallel to the path for the Mickey and Friends tram. There are certain feral cats that somewhat celebrities to the park. In fact, the Disneyland feral cats have their own Instagram account. At Disneyland Cats is the perfect place to get a glance at these furry animals if you're unlucky and don't find them well at the park. These cats have become so familiar to the contributors of the Instagram account that they have their own names, interests, and favorite spots to hang around. There are five in particular that I want to put the spotlight on, and hopefully you'll see them on your next visit. The first one is Becky. Becky has gray and white fur that's very fluffy. Becky can be most often spotted around Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, either in the line or dangling from one of the overhangs. Becky is one of the most noticeable female cats as the more curious feral cats have been predominantly male. However, the ratio of female to male cats is unknown to the park. The second cat is Perry. Perry likes to hang out around the line for Indiana Jones. He can be spotted sometimes hanging off the temple or hiding in the plant life separating Indiana Jones from the Jungle Cruise. So if you want to spot him, you have to look very hard for this sneaky fella. Not only does the Disneyland parks have feral cats, but so do the Disneyland hotels. Lafayette, a speckled cat that likes to hang around the Disneyland hotel ground, of all the ones that I am listing, Lafayette is probably the easiest spot, as there is not much in the means of plant life that could be used as hiding spots. Critter Country is not only home to Briar Rabbit and Winnie the Pooh, but is also the home of Peter. Peter loves to rest on the rocks surrounding the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh and never says no to the leftover scraps hanging around Country Bear. Finally, the most famous Disneyland area feral cat is Francisco. He is a black and orange furred cat who hangs out mostly in Disney California Adventure. Francisco can be spotted along the banks of Grizzly River Rapids, but has been spotted in several other places around the Grizzly area. Francisco is so popular that Disneyland Cat's Instagram has dubbed every Friday as hashtag Francisco Friday in honor of the lovable feline. And there you have it, lost folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this in-depth history on the furry felines that protect the Disneyland park, and that you found the five famous cats as adorable as I did. What other Disneyland park trivia facts should I cover? Let me know in the comments section. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Stay in the loop and be informed of all history on all fun facts Disney. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Till next time, keep on flying second star to the right, and straight on till morning.